So here we are, the La Gloria Cubana Esteli Maduro Siri R. Well, Siri R Esteli, uh, and it's a Maduro wrap. So it's a, a Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper, and everything else is from the Esteli region. So let's see what they call. I'm doing a V cut um, today. And let's see what I'm gonna taste on this cold draw. It's a it's a creamy chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty much the the same Maduro. It, you know, it gets the sweetness of the tobacco, and um, so it's like a creamy. Uh, a chocolate like sweet chocolate on the cold draw so I'm gonna light it up um, and give it the first puff so here comes my first puff the smell that I'm getting it's beer like a lager can you believe it? Um, no. Very interesting. So I don't know. <laughs> you don't believe it? <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And uh, it's um, <laughs> it, uh, it's very leathery uh, right now on, on that very, very first puff. So it's a creamy leather. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of an earth taste, but um, not much. It's more creamy leather right now. So stay tuned and I'll get back to you when I get it down um, on the first third of the cigar. Well, the, the taste profile is um, getting that traditional uh, Connecticut broadleaf um, uh, profile, and I've, I've taken some notes as I, I went, so it's uh, earthy, and uh, it, the smell is a very barnyard kind of smell, and um, the leather is still there, uh, it's still creamy, but uh, um, it, it's a little bit less, so the leather is like getting a little bit less of the leathery uh, taste, and um, let me refresh a little bit in here. Yeah, the retro hail I get uh, black pepper. Um, it is not spicy. It's just the black pepper taste without the spiciness of the the black pepper um, somehow. So it's a smooth uh, cigar and uh, it's very very well balanced for my palate. I really like this cigar, and um, uh, yes, um, I will uh, get back uh, on on the taste profile of the cigar uh, when you get to the second third. Second third in here, I uh, already took the Maduro band off, so I'm keeping that one still on. I like keeping the band on my cigars. Uh, on Retro Hail, I just did one, uh, and it's a, a little bit more peppery on, on Retro Hail, so you're gonna end up doing less Retro Hail uh, when it gets to this stage of the cigar. Let me refresh the palette in here. Well, it's um, it has a little bit of um, I want to say a dark chocolate, but it's not quite chocolate. It's it's just like a a, a, a bitter taste, but it's not uh, a bad taste at all. It's just like a, it seems like it has accumulated a little bit more uh, of the what 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 is that that accumulates on the cigar when we're smoking it? I, I don't I don't know that word. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, as you smoke it, I mean, it, it kind of accumulates a little bit, uh, um, you know, towards uh, uh, where you, you do the draw. Um, so, uh, yeah, and, and also, you know, it's cracking here exactly where the V cut is, uh, which is my fault because I did the V cut. So it's not the cigar's fault because, you know, the burn is being perfect. And um, 
It has a little bit, it has the same taste profile, but it's just getting a little bit bolder and a little more, um, I would say, getting uh, more accentuate, uh, uh, accentuated uh, on, the, uh, on the flavor profile. So it's still, uh, the leather is not smooth, uh, so it's just leather proper, like strong punch leather, uh, and it's enjoyable. So um, it builds up, and, um, and I like it. So I'll check back with you on the final third of the cigar. So coming down here, uh, I'm already halfway through the final third, almost to the end of it. Um, the, the taste profile has been um, changing throughout this uh, final third, which is kind of very, very interesting. So it started off, I took notes. So it started off with a, a hoppy taste and then it transitioned to like the leather just took over uh, uh, the taste profile. So it's not creamy, but leather. Um, and uh, I got like some uh, fruity smell, uh, but as of right now, as I puff, I get like an uh, iron aftertaste of a tobacco. Um, so, uh, I've enjoyed uh, this cigar very much. Um, I've, I've smoked so many of these. Um, and <laughs> so, and uh, I really like the cigar, so I can't let my uh, personal feelings uh, towards the cigar take over my comments in here. Although it's really difficult to give uh, a very, very, very honest opinion when uh, it's a cigar that I've smoked so much uh, of. Um, but yeah, let me do on, on retro hair here because um, I haven't uh, done on the final third. Yeah, it's still smooth on the on the retro hair, black pepper, but not spicy at all. And, um, and yeah, so I'm I'm kind of ready to score. I will score this cigar. Previously, I have scored the cigar 94, but I'm gonna give it a 92 today. Uh, I've been pairing with uh, South African Shira uh, red wine, and uh, a 92, um, it's a good cigar uh, to smoke, and uh, I really enjoyed it. So yes, subscribe to the channel, Send uh, send me your comments uh, on this, and uh, if you have ever smoked this cigar, I'd love to know the notes that you got from it, uh, and uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much.